Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create user groups in the Mozilla Learn system quickly and easily. Creating groups is important since homework is usually assigned to a group rather than to only one student. The groups you create can be used later when you assign new homework. To create groups, use your teacher's access, which can be set either at mozaweb.com or in the MozaBook software. Click on the Homework icon and go to Group Management. The same screen will appear on mozaweb.com, so if you try to create a group there, it will be familiar to you. So we want to create a group. There are two types of groups, school groups and general groups. The difference between the two is that anyone with a MozaWeb account can join general groups, while school groups can only be accessed by users with an account linked to their school. Below the class properties, you can set whether to add the whole class to the group, this is a class, or just certain students, this is a team, or to add students from a few different classes, this is a study group. You should name the group, and if you wish, you can give it a general description as well. You can also set whether to create a private group or a public institutional group. If you choose to create a private group, this means that only you will have access to it as the creator of the group. However, if you decide to create a public institutional group, every teacher within your school will have access. You can also add an additional manager to the group, who will have the same rights as the creator. The easiest way to add students to a group is to ask them to join it on mozaweb.com using the group ID and password provided here. Now I'll show you an example. After creating the group, the system confirms that the group has been created. And now you can start adding students manually. I'll also show you how students can join the group by themselves. Students log in to their account on mozaweb.com and then click on their name. They find the Group Management menu item. If you click here, you'll be redirected to an interface where you can see which groups you belong to. This student is not a member of any group, but it's possible for them to join one. This is where you enter the group ID and password, which were set when the group was created and sent to you by the teacher. As you can see, we have managed to join the group. I'll go back to MozaBook and show you how you can add members to the group manually. For example, any student can easily be added to the group by dragging and dropping their name into the corresponding field. On the right side, you can see every user whose account is linked to the same institution as yours. You can create a group for teachers as well. And that's it. We can also add students to the group by email if they don't appear on the list. They'll then receive an email to register on mozaweb.com and become members of the group. You can also send an email to newly added members informing them that they've been invited to the group and that by accepting the invitation, they'll automatically become members. And that's how to create groups in MozaBook or on MozaWeb. Thank you for your attention. I recommend everyone watch our tutorial videos to learn about MozaBook and MozaWeb. If you need further information, please go to our website at mozaweb.com and scroll down the page to find the Can We Help You menu item. Click on it and write to us at our customer support page.